In this tutorial, you learn how to use this RFID reader module to read the ID of RFID tags. This RFID reader module is called RFID RC522 and very often comes as a bundle with these two RFID tags. In order that an RFID reader can read an RFID tag, they must share the same frequency. The RC522 module can read only tags with a frequency of 13.56 MHz. The main functionality of RFID tags is that they store unique identifiers that can be read. In real-world application, RFID tags are used, for example, to identify users. Within the next minutes, it's shown how to program an application that simply reads the IDs stored on these tags. The basic setup is very simple. We have an Arduino Uno and an RFID reader of type RC522. In addition, we have some jumper wires to connect them and two RFID tags. The RC522 module has eight pins, of which seven are needed in this tutorial. Since the module has so many pins, connecting the pins is a little bit tricky. Therefore, the pin layout is also shown in the upper right corner. We start from left to right. So the module's 3.3 volt pin is connected to the Arduino's 3.3 volt pin. The RST pin of the module is connected to the Arduino's digital pin number 9. Then the ground pin is connected to the Arduino's ground pin. Then pin number 4 is the IRQ pin, which is not used in this tutorial. Next we have the MISO pin, which is connected to the Arduino's digital pin number 12. Then we have the MOSI pin, which is connected to the Arduino's pin number 11. Then there is the SCK pin, which is connected by the green wire to digital pin number 13. And lastly, we have the SDA pin, which is connected by the orange wire to Arduino's digital pin number 10. Okay, let's have a very quick look at the fritzing file. So this is our RFID reader RC522. This is our Arduino Uno. So we connected the first pin, the 3.3 volt pin by the red wire to the Arduino's 3.3 volt pin. Then we connected the RST pin by the yellow wire to pin number nine. Then the crown pin to the crown pin of the Arduino. This pin was unused. Then we connected this pin by the purple wire to pin number 12. Then this pin was connected by the blue wire to pin number 11. The following pin was connected by the green wire to pin number 13. And then we connected the last pin by the orange wire to pin number 10. Okay, so in order you are able to compile the example, you must install an additional library. So just go to sketch, then include library, manage libraries. And then what you see is this window and here search for RFID. And then you find this library MFRC522 by GitHub community and then just install it. I already installed it, that's why this button is grayed out. If you have installed the library, you are ready to go. So we start with including an SPI header, then an MFRC522 header, so that's a header from the library we just installed. Then we define two pins, which we need for setting up the library. Here in the setup function, we start an SPI connection. Then we initialize our RFID reader and open a serial connection. So we want to print out the IDs we will read from the RFID tags. The first thing we do in the loop function is to check whether there is an RFID tag available. If so, we read or we try to read this RFID tag. Then what we get is um, our ID of this RFID tag. 
and then reiterate through this ID, give it out byte by byte. And then we are finished and the loop function will start again. Okay, let's try it out. So I take this RFID card with an RFID tag on it, go close to the RFID reader and what you see is that the ID is printed out. Now I take another one and what you see is that the ID of this RFID tag is now printed out. Okay, and what you also can see if I move the card a bit faster, then it doesn't work. So you really have to go close to the RFID reader and wait a little bit. And also one thing I want to show you. So this is an RFID tag with a different frequency. So this RFID tag works at a frequency of 125 kilohertz. And if I go close to the RFID reader, then you see that no ID is printed out. So always take care that the RFID reader and the RFID tag share the same frequency. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you maybe next time.